All right, we've all seen the progression series that Simo and Nim Nim do. They're awesome people. We're going to do something similar. We're going to open 24 packs of each set, starting with the Legend of Blue Eyes. And the winner of each week is going to get a copy of a card opened that week by the opponent. So let's see how crazy our decks get and how they progress. And this is going to be our little progression series. All right, and welcome to week two. We are on Metal Raiders. Figured this week and going forward, we're going to go through the set, look at some of the notable cards like every other progression series is done. Speaking of which, if you haven't checked out Simo and Nim Nim's progression series, be sure to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. But with that being said, we're on Metal Raiders. I'm recording this before we actually have done the match for LOB because our schedules are a little wonky. So yeah, we'll see. You'll know in the deck building if we've won or not. But let's just go through. Summon Skull is a great, like, 2500 attack one tribute it's the best at this point plus we have monster reborn so that's will be a really nice thing to like reborn back uh there's a ton of 1500 attack monsters so most of our beaters will get phased out in this episode which i'm really excited about the difference between our lob decks and metal raider decks will probably be the biggest difference in like the entire series outside of archetype changes so really excited about that again just a bunch of 1500s we have things like Mask of Darkness is a pretty good uh, rare. If you have good traps to recycle, which we already have Trap Hole, so we can pretty easily capitalize on this. I know there's some weird loops later on too with like Time Seal and stuff. Uh, there's also White Magical Hat and Mass Sorcerer down here. When this does damage to your opponent, you they discard a random card and Mass Sorcerer lets you draw a card. So they're both pretty good, especially right now. And I'm more excited about this one because it's a light. And there's like eventually when we get to a major to chaos, having good lights will be really hard to come by. Uh, scrolling down, we've got these three are okay tribute summons. They're big and they're kind of hard to attack over. But at the end, of, like we'll probably play it if we open it this week. It'll probably get cut in like a week or two though. And then scrolling down, Magician of Faith, another fantastic rare. It just lets us recycle our spells. We already have Hot Agreed Reborn. We're probably going to get more spells as the series goes on. So it's just going to be really good. And it's a light, which again, it, you want to have good lights. Scrolling down, nothing super relevant here. The best beaters are Ryu Kishin Powered, uh, Seven Colored Fish, and uh, there's like Winged Crown is like a 1600 one on par with Ryu Kishin. So we're looking to pick up playsets of those. Tribute to the Doom would be another nice pickup. You can just discard a card to pop a monster. Just good removal right now. Change of Heart's absolutely busted. I would love to open it. Uh, it is an Ultra Rare, so not super likely. But hey, you never know. Another Ultra Rare I really don't want to open. <laughs> and then as far as like floaters, Sangan's really good. Uh, it's pre errata so it like you can still use the thing the turn you search it, which is really nice. And it also works with like Synchros way down the line. And along those lines, there's one more of those kind of things. Permanent Rats, another 2k defense, although we're not actually hurting in that department. Uh, there's Jurai Guma, which is a really nice wall. Uh, 2200, and if you need to get aggressive with it, like if you're the one being aggressive and you have the board presence, it's still just 2200. Your life total is not going to matter that much unless they have a way to like get rid of it. Thunder Dragon's a nice way to get lights in the grave if you can get it. Again, 7 colored fish, just an 1800 beater. And there's one more like big one I'm looking for on here. Dark Elf's nice because it's 2k and you only have to lose a thousand and it's just big. But this right here, Witch of the Black Forest, this card is amazing. Again, pre errata so we can activate the effect the turn we search with it. Uh, and it's also, I don't think, once per turn, but I could be wrong on that part. Uh, but more importantly, like the 1500 defense versus 1500 attack, this lets us search so many cards. Like if we have like Monarchs, it can search Monarchs. If we end up getting Dad of all things, it'll search that. Like this has such a breadth of things it can search. It's just such a good card. And I think that's, uh, there's also Solemn Judgment. How can I forget that? Like all of these traps are pretty good. Uh, they're the first counter traps in the game, fun fact. Um, if this one, if a monster is something you contribute, a monster negate it, it's okay. Seven tools, whenever a trap's activated, you can pay a thousand negate. Uh, Magic Jammer is pretty good if Nathan or Zane is on really broken spells because those are the people I'm playing with. Solemn Judgment is a really good counter trap to just get rid of anything. You're paying half your life points, but a lot of times it's worth it. Shield and Sword could be okay right now. This is a card I also kind of want to pick up. 
It gives 500 attack and defense, so it just makes things pretty big. You do have to put it on top of your deck, which kind of sucks, but sometimes that can be a benefit. Robin Goblin can be okay, and then Mirror Force is the other really big one. So that being said, let's just slide over to the pack opening. Heavy Swarm's also really busted, and let us just see what we get. First pack rip. We got a super rare. It's Sangha. It'll probably make the deck, but again, it's going to get cut in like a week. But let's see. Come on. Uh, Shadow Ghoul could be an okay tribute fodder, or a tribute summon, because it can be like 2k sometimes, and that can be good enough. Okay. We got, ooh, White Magical Hat. Nice. Really good rare. I'm really happy to pick this up. Again, if we can like resolve the board and then summon this, it can be really backbreaking. So far. Alright, first Thunder Dragon, that's a really good one. Another super rare. Harpy Lady Sisters. If we get Elegant Egotist, we might play this. It's what, 1950, and uh, you have to summon it with Elegant Egotist. We might be able to make use of that. At least for now. As we wait for this to work. Unfortunately, this doesn't ever really want to work that well on mine. Nice! Witch of the Black Forest. Honestly, of all the rares, this is the one I'm most happy to get. This card is just so good, and it's going to be so useful throughout the entire series. Really happy about that pickup. Second White Magical Hat, another really nice pickup. I haven't seen any Ryu Kishins or Seven Colored Fish, but I'm a little, I'm more concerned about the rares for the long term. So I guess it'll be a moment to say, if you like the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and big thanks to Simo for coming up with this idea, because honestly, like, I've been playing this, ooh, nice, Horn of Heaven, not the ultra rare I'm looking for, but it's still pretty good. Uh, I really like this concept of, like, going through the sets, like, it's a ton of fun. I've been doing it with a friend just for fun, and we've been, it's been a real blast. Okay, moving right along. Well, we did get the Elegant Ego Test. I might have to consider that. Especially if, like, we get a... Or, oh, we have to have Arp Lady on the field to do it? Maybe not. Let's see. As we wait five years. In the meantime, while we wait for that slot, I'm just gonna keep cracking packs. Okay, there's another clown. This card's okay, but we need real, like, stumbling to make it work. Which, that doesn't come until Invasion of Chaos. Mass of Darkness is pretty good. We also got the... Horn of that, or like the Horn of Heaven, so that's another trap we can recycle. I'm okay with that. I don't love it, but it's okay. Paralyzing Potion is also a decent removal spell this set. Pretty happy to pick that up. Let's see. We got nothing here. I think Stempback might be like okay, but I'll have to look in deck editing. <laughs> Super Rare Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. I mean, I don't even think we have a second Thunder Dragon. We did open Polymerization, so like it's not out of the realm of possibility, but... Ooh, first edition, Shield and Sword. The card's okay, and I think that's our first Riku Kishin powered, which is a little concerning. Okay, nothing... Oh, Seven Colored Fish, nice. Alright, so we do have at least one of the 1800 meter. Hopefully we can pick up two more. Well, we got a second Harpy Lady Sisters. Are we doing this? Are we using Harpy Ladies? We also got Mask of Darkness as number two, which, again, would much prefer Magician of Faith, but that's okay. Mass Sorcerer is pretty nice. I'm happy to pick that up. Well, we have three Mask of Darkness, so we're going to be trap pulling every turn, it would seem. Nice! Second Witch of the Black Forest and Seven Colored Fish. Really happy to see those. Also, there's a million instant fusion targets in this set, but I'm not going to go through every single one. Cannibal Turtle is an interesting one. If we get Mother Grizzlies, we could Magical Scientist FTK. Like, that is an actual possibility. So, that's, I guess, something to keep in mind. Cannon Soldier is only used for FTKs, but it's a lot harder to make work. Ooh, what do we got? Nice! Solemn Judgment! Oh yeah, it's gonna make our, uh, it's both gonna make our Mask of Darkness feel a lot better and a lot worse. Because <laughs> paying half your life points every time is kind of rough, but if we can keep like, recycling this, that could be really strong. Alright, two packs left. 
Oh, we'll have to look and see on that. Last pack magic. Well, <laughs> we can't summon this, but it is cool. And Mass Sorcerer is really good. I'll take that. All right, so let us go ahead and add this to the collection. And let's take a look at that. Also, can we, yeah. If we have a Harpy Lady, we can summon a Harpy Lady Scissors from deck, which, I mean, that's a free 1950 beater. And we do have the, um, we do have the, I'm assuming we have the Harpy Ladies. Yeah, so that's like the full list. Let us just look at the deck builder, because it will sort it. Eventually. There it goes. Okay, so we only got two Kochi Kochi. Only one for Venerat. That's kind of awkward. But I'm hoping we can get past that. Yeah, we got like three of this one. Our two Skull Redbirds. Two Harpy Lady Sisters, which could be interesting. Two Magical Hats. Super excited about that. Let's see. Two Seven Colored Fish. Would have loved to pick up the third. Also, only one Ryu Kishin powered, which is a little awkward, but I think we can make do. Solemn Judgment. Ooh, so good. Uh, let's see. Anything else that comes out? The Two Witch, obviously. Again, super excited about that. What does this do? The Equip Monster gains 700 attack. I'd rather have the sort of deep seated just because it's like it doesn't like I don't think our games are gonna be short enough to where like that downside doesn't become relevant. Uh, Robin Goblin can be pretty good. Only one elegant eco test. That's kinda I don't really wanna run that if I'm gonna have to only have one of these. Horn of Heaven's also Dece. Catabort Turtle is kinda interesting, and then two sort of deep seated. So yeah. Let me throw this into Dueling Book, and then by then, we'll know, you'll know if we won on the last one. And I will too. Well, I told you the deck would change a lot, and boy did it change a lot. We have 26 Metal Raiders cards in this deck, which means only 14 of the original remained. I like the feel of this deck. Um, this is a little interesting. I'll go through the card by card just to show you what we got going on. Unfortunately, my common luck for Metal Raiders was atrociously bad. Like, no Jirai Gumos, no uh, th the Winged Crown, the 1600, the other one. Not a full play set of Seven Colored Fish, only one Ryu Kishin. So we're making do with what we got, but we I think we have a pretty good core. Also, we did win that match with Nathan in LOB, so we did get to take a trap hole. So now we have two. To clarify, he still has a trap hole, so that's something we'll have to play around. But it's nice to have another one of these, and it also makes this inclusion feel pretty nice with these. So going through the card by card, we're still on two Arm Ninja. I still think that like things like Paralyzing Potion and Sword of Deep Seated are going to be pretty like relevant. So having access to this, it can just get rid of them, and it's something that we can set. Hain Hain to bounce Tribute Summons and to just be an all-around annoying card. We do have a Tribute Summon in this deck, the Sangha of the Thunder. It's a 2600, which means it can beat over things like Summon Skull and... It's just a big boy. Also, if even if like Nathan does summon Triant Warm Dragon, because he has access to that, he won't be able to attack over this. He'll just have to wait. Uh, for the best card in the... Well, not the best card in the deck, but one of them. Two Witch of the Black Forest. Really good for keeping resources in, like, in hand and such, because when it dies, you just search for a 1500 defense or less. Really good card. It was banned for a long time and been eroded, but since we're doing pre-errata, this card is amazing. We've got two White Magical Hat. It's a really good card, uh, 1,000 attack, but when it does combat damage to the opponent, or battle damage, it discards a random card out of their hand. Really nice card. Uh, it helps eat away at their hand, which is a couple cards we have that do that. And it's just all around really good. It's also a light, which is going to come up with Invasion and Chaos, and hopefully we can just keep Nathan off of having cards in hand. Uh, two Muka Muka. So on the one hand, there's things like this that eat out of the hand, but also we're running pretty monster heavy. And we have stuff like Pot of Greed and like this to keep cards in our hand and like Witch. So I felt this would be reasonably like an 1800 attack a lot of the time. Like if we have four cards in hand, this is 1800 because it gains 300 attack and defense for each card in our hand. It's also searchable with Witch, but like I think everything in the deck except for the 2Ks and Sangha is searchable. So that's kind of a moot point. But if we have five cards in hand, it's actually like a 2100 beater, a normal summon, which is pretty incredible. 
you got two Mass Sorcerer. It's like this, except dark, and you draw a card instead of discarding a random card. Pretty good card. Helps keep cards in hand. Makes Muka Muka a little better. And then, the, we wish this was Magician of Faith, but it's still pretty good. Three Mask of Darkness. It's like Magician of Faith, except you add a trap back instead of a spell. The really cool thing is, now that we have the second trap hole, we can play like five traps in our deck. So this is going to be alive a decent amount of the time. And if we ever just get to like, Trap hole a normal summon, flip up Mask of Darkness, set trap hole again. Like, that's just going to be so, so brutal. Excuse me. We got two seven colored fish, uh, Ryu Kishin, and two Skull Redbird. They're our best beaters. I really wish I didn't have to play this, but it is what it is. Same with Gazelle, because I don't really want a 1500 attack, but it is what it is. It's still a lot better than like 1200. And then we have four walls, three Spirit of the Harp, and one Giant Soldier of Stone just to be defensive, and since we have this, we actually have something to build towards, like keeping defensive monsters on the board. That's it for the monster lineup, we're on 26. Onto the spells, we have two sort of deep seated. This card gives 500 attack and defense, so it's pretty solid in that regard. Unfortunately, if it goes to grave, it has to go to the top of your deck, it's not optional. But you know, it's still 500 attack, that makes this 2300. It makes uh, it can make Muka Muka like massive. Like if we have five cards at hand somehow and a Muka Muka on the board, it's like 2600. So it can beat over pretty much anything. Uh, two paralyzing potion. It's basically removal for non machine types. Uh, I don't know if there's any big machine types that are might see play, but it's just a it, they can't attack with it, so it gives us time to like get into Sangha or Hain Hain or something. And the, because this exists, that's also why we're still on Arm Ninja. We got the one Fissure, great piece of removal. If they go to, if Nathan goes to tribute into like Trihorn, and that's the only monster, we can just Fissure it. I feel a little more comfortable about that being in this deck now that we have a few more ways to interact with it. Uh, Pot of Greed because it's broken. Reborn, same reason, it's broken. One stop defense because I think two K walls are still going to be pretty relevant. Uh, Sword and Shield. So this is because we have some two K walls. And this can out, like, Jirai Gumo or Dark Elf, because they'd switch the attack and defense. So, really happy to have that. And onto the traps, we have one Robin Goblin. So, each time a monster you control inflicts battle damage to your opponent, they discard a random card. It's like this effect, but on a trap and all your monsters. It's nice because, like, we can, if we draw a trap hole, we can pretty easily keep Nathan off having a monster. And then if we, like, flip up Mask of Darkness to get it back, this attacking and getting a random card out of their hand is pretty nice. Also got Horn of Heaven, because we have these like random dorks that don't really do anything once they're flipped. So being able to attribute them to keep Nathan off of doing anything is pretty powerful. Two Trapple, because it's just really good. It stops any normal summon, effectively. I mean, I guess it doesn't stop like Mass Sorcerer, but that's really about it. And then we have ourselves Solemn Judgment, a real good catch-all answer. Do have to be careful with this because I don't want to lose like the game because of the life loss, but still pretty good. In the side deck, we have the one prevent rat we open because in case we want another like defensive body, like if I notice that Nathan's not on Jiraigumo but is on Dark Elf, then I can side this and then it kind of blanks that. And then we have one dragon capture dart just in case we feel like bringing it in if I see multiple big dragons. So yeah, that's the deck profile. Let's see what happens. I'm really excited for this one. Hoping I don't give up, like, a Solemn Judgment, because that's kind of what we're playing on the line for. Because I don't really want him to have access to this, and hopefully we can get something pretty spicy. Or I guess also Witch of the Black Forest would be the other thing. Alright, Nathan, I hope your deck got a whole lot better, because my deck's completely different now. Well, you'll just have to see. Ooh, not doing so hot on the Rock, Paper, Scissors anymore. <laughs> Go ahead and pick second. All right, good luck. This is an interesting hand. I am going to set one and then set another back row and then pass. Or setting set one row. and set one back. Yeah, we're setting back row now. Well, I, in a row, top deck pot of greed. Oh first my turn. god. It's going to be a recurring <laughs> theme of this show is top decking pot of greed. Yeah. It's the heart of the cards. Okay, and then we are going to go ahead and also 
set one. Set one. <laughs> and pass. K draw. Stand by main. I am just going to normal summon this Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts. Interesting. Um... Yeah, we'll go ahead and try bullet. Alrighty. And I'm just going to pass after that. Draw for turn. We are going to... Hmm. We'll go ahead and flip some on our big guy. All right. Um, I don't actually know how to do this in building, but you have to banish the top five and then. I put guess so. Back in any order. Yeah. Okay. So we got twelve. Uh, uh minus fire. Gazelle as well. And goodness gracious. All the burn. <laughs> um put it back. Hmm, still on the uh Field spells, I see. Yeah, a little bit. I really like... Like, I had some good cards, like, that I liked from this Metal Raiders. But I really didn't have, like, some of the other things that I would have liked to support them. <laughs> so I'm still having to run some of the some of that other stuff, so... Um, so yeah, I flipped some of that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and... Actually, I don't like that back row. So, don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> you say that. <laughs> you only know of two trap holes on my deck. There's nothing like <laughs> normal summon uh, Miss Gloss. Yeah, summon's fine. Oh, uh, we're gonna go ahead and battle face. Yeah. When you declare that attack, I'm gonna flip up Robin Goblin. Oh goodness. So each time a monster inflicts battle damage to you, you discard a random card. And fun fact, we got ourselves a lovely 2k defense. Gotcha. So I'm going to take 550. I don't think there's like a re-choosing to attack, because it's not like anything actually changed. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's not like that. Because I know if like the number of monsters changes, you can like change if you want to declare an attack or not. But I believe you could also activate... I mean, I guess your viewers could also let you know in the comments. <laughs> if I could activate but, this in damage step. Or I don't like, think you could. On flip, I don't think you'd have to activate it on, like, de declaration of attack, but I could be wrong, too, so. Alright, so we're gonna discard a random card out of your hand, because you're taking some sweet, sweet battle damage. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 as a reroll. Okay, so the middle one. Oh, dang. Nice. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and end our turn. Okay, draw. Not a great top deck. All right, we're going to get aggressive here. I'm going to activate Fissure to pop your big eye. And then I'm going to equip a sort of deep seated to my uh, giant soldier of stone. So he's at 1800 attack. I I didn't realize what that did. I definitely should add that to my deck. <laughs> it is kind of awkward because if you kill this, this has to go on the top of my deck. But I figured it was worth running. And I'm going to attack Sorry. over this for 350. And oh, it's time. So... It'll be one, two, three, four, and then five, six reroll. Okay. Okay. Alright, so one. That's fine, that one. 
Got our battle steer. Ooh, running battle steer. Interesting. Okay, I'm just going to pass after that. Robin Goblin putting in the work. All right, so I'll take a thousand, and you'll take five hundred. See, um, then we will set a card and pass. All right, we we'll draw. Stand by main. I'll go to battle phase. I'll see what this is. So it's going to flip, activate its effect to bounce him to your hand, which will send your thing back to your hand, uh, or to the top of your deck. Yeah. Okay. And then that of trigger to put to top of the deck. Okay. Uh, main phase two. I'm just going to set a card and pass. Wonder what that is. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> It could be anything. Honestly, you have to be wondering what these cards I'm drawing are. <laughs> oh, gee. Forests and burn, oh my. Um, this is really awkward. Because I know exactly what your cards are, and you know exactly what my cards are. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm actually getting my turn, too. Alright, uh, I'm just going to flip this boy up. We're going to yeah. re-equip. I'm just kind of in a bad position right now. And I'm going to go to battle phase, and we're just going to hit in for 18. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright, so this one. Ooh, nice. Getting rid of the monsters instead of burn cards. Because honestly, you can keep the burn cards, it's fine. <laughs> I'll pass to you. I'm going to go ahead and set a card, and then my turn. Okay, draw. Standby, main. I'm going to show you a new card. I'm going to summon White Magical Hat. When this card inflicts damage to you, you'll also discard a random card for its effect. <laughs> nah. Alright, I'm going to go to battle. I'm going to see what this is. Nice. We'll eat the last card out of your hand. Nom, 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 nom. This is this this strategy by you so far is working out pretty well. Uh, fun, fun fact: making sure your opponent doesn't have a hand in card games tends to work out reasonably well. I'll pass after that. I uh, will go ahead and activate a forest. Oh uh, yeah. And then end our turn. Draw. Well, I did luckily normal summon a way to kill you this turn. <laughs> Because oh, I didn't actually right. have a way to kill you yet, but this now we can go for lethal. <sighs> After we wait for it to buffer. In before Julian Smith sings about buffering. Yeah, so basically, like... I was able to add some of the right cards, but I don't think... Some of the other cards are. It, it it might take me a couple packs to come back on this one. I'm gonna set and set, and I'll pass after that. I'm going to set set. Uh. And then normal summon the beastro beastro butcher. I'm gonna trap all that. That's good. Gotcha. Um, we're gonna end our turn after that then. Okay, draw. Stand by main. Hmm. I think I'm just going to set another one and pass. I don't want to play into trap hole when I don't have to. We're going to draw. 
Um, okay, and normal summon a uh, blue winged crown. Yep. That you so sadly took away from me last game. Uh, go ahead and battle phase and attack into this one. So this one is actually a Mask of Darkness, so I'm going to activate that effect. Dang. I'm going to get this trap hole back. Not going to lie, this is, this is starting to feel like, like the TV show with the, the things I'm running into. <laughs> <laughs> Happens to have the Mask of Darkness with the trap hole. Okay, um... And actually... Hmm. Let's activate a uh, share the pain. Okay, that is gonna get rid of a hain hain. Cool. And pass. Okay, draw. Standby main. Hmm, I want to. What are the odds that one of these is trap hole? Reasonably high. That being said, given you know I have trap hole, I think I'm just going to try to go for it. I'm going to summon white magical hat. White magical hat. Mm. Yeah, I can't risk you getting any <laughs> What, you don't want me to just eat all the cards out of your hand? Why not? Alright, uh, then I'm yeah, just going to set one and pass. Wonder what that is. Huh? You don't know. I'm also gonna set one and pass. <laughs> Draw. Alright, well I'm gonna normal summon seven colored fish. Ooh. And then I'm gonna go to battle phase. I'm gonna see what this is. Um uh, well it's gonna be my witch. Ooh, one. you also got a witch. So we're gonna go ahead and search our deck. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go. This is actually very questionable right now. Mm -hmm. Alright, good. Okay. Uh, main phase two. I am going to set one more and I'll pass. Um, let's see. I'll go ahead and set a card. And also pass. Okay, draw. Stand by me. I'm just gonna normal summon my own Witch of the Black Forest. And I'll go to battle phase and I'll attack Indier, probably Sangan with seven colored fish. <clears throat> you are. I know, I'm but... such a genius. It's. <laughs> we'll go ahead and search out. Our giant soldiers then. Okay. Then I will hit in for 11. And then I will pass it back to you. Um. Do I want to do that though? Hmm. 
questions galore. Actually, just gonna go ahead and set one and pass. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Okay. I'm just going to go to battle phase, and I'm going to attack into it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to take 200 here, but yeah. Okay, main phase two. I'm just going to set another monster. I'll switch this to defense, and I'll pass. We will set one more monster and end our turn. Draw. Standby main. I'm going to go to battle phase. I'm just going to attack into the new set. Um, it's going to be a magician of faith. Ooh. Getting back share the pain, huh? We're going to grab that to our hand. Okay, okay. Mm, doing me so many choices. Alright, main <laughs> phase two. Already looking on what he's gonna take from my deck. Yo, you know it. <laughs> I'll pass. It's not looking so good for you, to be fair. Yeah, I'm already down in the second game. Um, okay, hold on. Although you didn't seem to get really good luck with the rares, because you got like Witch, Sangan, and Magician of Faith. That's pretty nice. Yeah, but the problem is I don't have too many good things to search out with. <laughs> um... Sleep. Just go ahead and um, I don't know if I want to do that. Hmm. We're going to Normal summon our armored lizard. I'm just gonna go ahead and trap all that. Gotcha. And then we will set one and pass. Draw. Oh. I was gonna go through this really convoluted way of, of getting around this giant soldier stone, but I suppose a fissure will just do the trick. <laughs> I was going to say, are you, are you going to two-pronged attack my waste three cards for one? No, I had another way to do it. Uh, I'm going to flip up another witch, and I'm going to switch this to attack. Uh, I'm going to go to battle phase, and I'm just going to attack in with everything. In the order of the two witches, and then the seven-colored fish to play around gores. Because that's definitely a card that's relevant right now. Yeah, I was going to say... Uh... Oh wait, why did you lose, um, oh I see, okay, 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 we're on the same page now. Uh, I main phase two, I'm going to set one and pass. Oh goodness. Things are not looking too hot. Um, let's set one and pass. Okay, draw. Stand by main. Well, you thought the like getting the trap hole back once was pretty good, so we might as well do it again. Goodness gracious. Get back that trap hole. Um... If I can Will you be, be really satisfied, Dark Holy? 
I mean, I would be, but I know you don't have it, so... <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll go to battle phase. I'll attack into your set monster. So we're going to try on a last-ditch effort to get something to our hand. Well, if you don't have anything else, I still have lethal on board. Because it's 22 plus 900. Oh. That is true. Actually, that's going to be game then. <laughs> well, there we go. Good game, Duelist. I, I was curious by some of your choices with like the big eye and stuff. The booster is interesting, though. I do like that choice. Ooh, Summon Skull. That's a spicy one. Oh, and Heavy Storm. You, you got some good spice. Uh, I did get a reasonable piece of spice myself. I actually drew it this turn, but we got Solemn Judgment. I wish I... I needed more, like, kind of... So, like, I only I have one, the one trap hole, and then I have, like, a couple two pronged attacks, but like I don't have that much like monster removal. I had the tribute to the doomed, and like I have more like I don't have traps that do it. Like I have spells like tribute to the doomed and share the pain. Yeah. But I I feel like the traps are just much more effective. The traps are nice going first, cause like especially if you notice game two like going first, I was just like able to just like trap hole the first like thing I really needed to. Granted, my deck is also just really built around the trap thing because I have a playset of this Mask of Darkness. Uh, that's fair enough. Um, yeah, the the tribute to the doomed is good with like Witch and Sangin, but um, not so much for like or not the tribute to the doomed share of the pain, but otherwise, yeah. Yeah, as far as what I'm going to pick, the, like, real obvious thing should just be take heavy, take a heavy storm, right? Like, I shouldn't overthink it, but I'm also just looking at the Sangan, like, it's a floater, it does some really cool stuff. Call me crazy, but I think I'm going to take Sangan. I think that's my pick. And that might just be blatantly wrong, and I'm sure someone's going to tell me how wrong I am. Ooh, two Duraguma is nice. My common luck was terrible. I only got one Ryu Kingshin powered, two seven colored fish, no Duragumos, none of the, um, there was like a, like, I only got like one of the Prevent Rat. I also got no block attacks. I got one block attack, but... Oh, the weird way I was going to get around your uh, Steinant Soldier Sun was since it was in defense position, I was just going to shield and sword and then attack over my spirit with my Spirit of the Harp because it'd be a 2k attack. <laughs> but then I drew the Fissure and I was like, well, that's just a much cleaner way of doing it and I get in a lot more damage that way. Yeah, so, I mean, I had, like, so I... I completely forgot that the battle steer was a like five star. Yeah, it is a bit. But, um, it that was a little less helpful, but also like most of my other things are like only fifteen hundred, and I don't. You still have like right now you have more defense, more like like bigger four star beaters, better traps. So, I'm, I'm in a little bit of a hole right now. Hopefully, but, Magic Ruler can turn it around, because there's some really busted <laughs> cards in that set. I was going to say, that I mean, definitely you can get to sets where, like, you can end up scrapping your whole, almost your whole deck, so... Yeah, well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of the Progression Series. We'll be back next week with spell slash magic roller whatever you want to call it real excited for that one there's so many busted cards in that set and we will catch you later hey see y'all